Welcome to Infigyan friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up an exponential equation challenge. It is 2 power x plus 3 plus 2 power 2x plus 3 plus 2 power 3x plus 3 equal to 7. We have to find out the values of x. x belongs to real number. So let's get started this video by writing the two powerful properties of exponents. First one is x power a plus b then we can write this as x power a times x power b. Property number 2. It is power rule basically a power b whole power c. This can be written as a power c whole power b. And further we can write a power b times c. Let's apply both the properties in our problem. So I will begin with the property number 1. So I can write our equation as 2 power x times 2 power 3 plus 2 power 2x times 2 power 3 plus 2 power 3x times 2 power 3. RHS is 7. Now you can see 2 power 3, 2 power 3, 2 power 3. So 2 power 3 is common. So I will write 2 power 3 common. In bracket it is 2 power x plus 2 power 2x plus 2 power 3x equal to 7. Now 2 power 3 is 8. So I will write 8 times 2 power x plus 2 power 2x plus 2 power 3x equal to 7. Now this segment of property number 2 we will use here 2 power 2x. So it is 2 times x. We can write it is 2 power x whole square using the exponent property. And third term of this bracket I will write 2 power x whole power 3. And first term is 2 power x and 8 is multiplier. Right hand side is 7. Now you can easily see it is substitution time. We will substitute 2 power x equal to a or t. Let's put. So I will write 8 times in bracket 2 power x plus 2 power x whole square plus 2 power x whole cube equal to 7. Let us consider 2 power x equal to suppose a. So I will write 8 times in bracket a a square a cube equal to RHS 7. Let's multiply with 8. So I will be writing in descending order 8 a cube plus 8 a square plus 8 a minus 7 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation and now we will use rational root theorem. So I will write the eligible factors of constant term it is minus 7 so I can write plus minus 1 and it is prime number so only two factors we can write plus minus 7. Now here the leading coefficient is there means available so I can write plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4 and plus minus 8. Now our eligible solution list that would be the ratio of constant to leading coefficient. So I can write that ratio if you want to write then plus minus 1 over plus minus 1 plus minus 1 over plus minus 2 plus minus 1 over plus minus 4 plus minus 1 over plus minus 8. Now the turn of plus minus 7. So plus minus 7. So those solutions are eligible solutions. I am straight away putting the value of A. If A equal to 1, see what will come out. 8 plus 8 plus 8 minus 7. No, it is not solution. A equal to minus 1. So minus 8 plus 8 minus 8 minus 7. So it is not coming out 0. 
rejected. So similar way, I can consider leading coefficient plus minus 2. So I will put a equal to half. So I will be writing here 8 times half cube, so 1 over 8, plus 8 times half square, so 1 over 4, plus 8 times half minus 7. Is this true? So first value is 1 plus 2 plus 4. Yes, 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7 and after that it is minus 7. So yes, it is equal to 0. So a equal to half is our base solution. So let us consider this equation for SDM. So I will write equation first, then a equal to half is our base solution. So I will be writing here 8a cube plus 8a square plus 8a minus 7 equal to 0. And a equal to half I will write for base solution. Now let us use SDM. So I will write here the coefficients of this cubic equation. Coefficient of a cube it is 8. Coefficient of a square it is 8. Coefficient of a it is again 8. Constant coefficient it is minus 7. Put one line over there. Leading coefficient I will write unchanged 8. Now multiply take the product and we have to write the product here. So 8 times half 4 it will be 12. Half times 12 6 it will be 14. Half times 14, 7, summation is 0. So these three numbers are coefficients of quadratic equation. So I can write our equation as 8a square plus 12a plus 14 equal to 0. Equation is divisible by 2. So I will divide immediately. 4a square plus 6a plus 7 equal to 0. So let me find out the remaining two solutions. How we will find out? Let us calculate delta discriminant separately. b square minus 4ac. So what is b? 6, 6 square minus 4 times 4 times 7. So if I will write this value, then this is 36 minus 16 times 7. 112. So this value is coming out negative. Once discriminant is negative, complex solutions. So no need to calculate roots further as they will come out complex valued solutions. So we will reject this. So I will write rejected. So which solution is accepted? That is a equal to half our base solution. So let's solve. I will write a equal to half. What was a? a was our substitution 2 power x. So I will write 2 power x equal to half. This half we can write 2 power minus 1. Once base is same, exponent should be equal to each other. So I will write conclusion is x should be equal to negative 1. So our answer is x equal to minus 1 and let us verify also. Let us verify. So I will put x equal to negative 1 in this equation. See what will come out. 2 power negative 1 plus 3 plus 2 power negative 2 plus 3 plus 2 power negative 3 plus 3. Is this value coming out 7 or not? So let us consider LHS only. This value is 2 power 2 plus 2 power 1 plus 2 power 0. 2 power 2 is 4. 2 power 1 is 2. 2 power 0 is 1. So this value is coming out 7 and 7 is our RHS. That means 
LHS equal to RHS, X equal to minus 1 is the only real solution for the given exponential challenge. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye friends till next video. Good luck and take care.